Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I'm Cheryl from Planning with Lux. Today I'm coming at you with another planner related video. We're going to be doing a plan with me for December the 2nd through December the 8th. So if this is something you're interested in, just keep on watching. Okay, we're just going to jump right into it. Opening up our planners. This was last week's plans. So I'm just going to pull out my inserts. and place the planner to the side. So today, I'm going to be using a printable kit from one of my favorite sticker shops called Days Untangled. So I'm going to be using um, sticker kits, I think for the entire month of December, Christmas type stickers because I just love this season. So this kit is from Days Untangled. It's called Gingerbread and she has beautiful full boxes and the date covers and the washi strips and she has half boxes and quarter boxes, plenty of deco stickers, work stickers, other type of stickers, decorative stickers. We have our full boxes, check boxes, habit trackers, um, our to do's, things to do, goes today, reflection stickers. We have I washi headers. These are beautiful pictures and they're washi headers. We have more check boxes, the weekend banner, deco stickers. And we have our glitter washi, date dots, habit trackers, and more half boxes. So you see, she gives you a lot of beautiful stickers to plan with. So getting started. <clears throat> I think I'm going to lay down my glitter washi getting started. And I think I want to use, I think I want to use these two colors right here. I like this. Okay. So I hope everyone had a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving. I had a really good time with my family and my friends over for the holiday. We just sat around and talked and ate until we could not talk and eat anymore. And I had some leftovers. And I'm finally throwing out my leftovers today because, y'all, let me tell you, my diet for this week is done. But we all know if you're on a diet or if you're trying to eat healthy, it's really hard to do it around the holidays with all this really good food you know and i try to not overindulge but it's really hard doing that so i just went with the flow i'm like you know what whatever i just go with the flow and hit the gym really extra next week or this week shall we say so that's what i'm going to do so i um like I was saying, we had a good time with family and friends over, and I hosted this year for Thanksgiving. And my granddaughter, she just turned five years old. At some point, she started laying down my half boxes. I'm sorry, my four boxes. So my granddaughter, she just turned five years old, and she wanted to help me prepare everything. So she was truly my little sous chef, my little helper this week. Thanksgiving, we did, let me see, she wanted a chocolate cake, so we did the chocolate cake together, and I let her help me um, frost the chocolate cake, and she wanted to add her own little touch, so she wanted to add um, the chocolate sprinkles on to the cake, so we had chocolate cake with chocolate icing and chocolate sprinkles. But it actually was pretty good. It was a really good cake. It was a lot of chocolate, you know. But I love chocolate, so it didn't really bother me. And my family pretty much loves chocolate, too. So it didn't bother us. But she was really, really involved. Do anyone else out there have grandkids that they plan with? Well, not plan with. That comes over for the holidays that love to help them cook. 
I really look forward to this time of the year with cooking with my granddaughter because I think about me having my grandparents around me, my grandmothers, and helping them in the kitchen cook. It was so much fun making those memories that you would never ever forget, you know? So much fun. So I, when I picked this kit, I loved it because of the little gingerbread men. Because me and my granddaughter loved to bake cookies for Christmas. Christmas cookies for Christmas. And this kit reminded me of that. So I wanted to use this kit. That is cute. I love the way it turned out. Okay, so on Monday, One thing I forgot to do, y'all. I forgot to cut off my headers. So I'm just going to do that right now. I forgot to cut off my check boxes, not the headers. I like to cut my check boxes down to threes or either fours. Unless I know that I'm definitely going to have a day where I need to have a lot of deliverables done. I try to cut them off. That's good. And let's just go down here. And let's just cut these two. Right here. There we go. We are good with those. So now we just want to go with our todays. Let's see if I can find my today boxes. Okay. So, on, um, I talked about last week about my um, riding for charity at the gym. I participated in an event called um, Burn the Bird, and all of the proceeds went to charity. It was a really good charitable organization. But one of the reasons I loved it too was because I knew that I really wanted to eat a lot for Thanksgiving. And I wanted to try to burn off as many calories as possible. So I participated in a two hour spin class and this was my first time participating in this type of spin class because normally my skin class my spin classes normally last about let's see. It lasts about one hour. But this was two hours. So it went really well. You know, you don't realize your strength when you're working out until you really get into it. And I really like working out in the gym and I like participating in classes because that really pushes me to be competitive. Because you have other people around you and they're doing it. So it really helps. So on Monday, I have a core class on Monday. So that's why I have a little tennis shoe here. And then I want to put down my things to do. And on Monday, um, I know that after I finish my core class, I need to go for a run to just to get some extra cardio in because I really over ate the last couple of days. So I want to put down my things to do. So like I want to wash my hair, I want to go for a run and just work those out. And I think I want to what else I want to do? I think I want to try to put down a really cute little decorative picture down here. I love using this washies that come out to be pictures because I don't have a lot going on Monday. These little pictures really look cute. I, think I want to put like four of them down. And then I want to put like a quarter box down. 
thing. We put down three of them and then a quarter box. Here we go. That looks nice. I like that. So that's on Monday. So my granddaughter, we were um, making, so she helped me make the cakes. She helped me make the pies. She made the cornbread dressing with me. She helped me wash the greens. She really, you know, I kept telling her, baby, it's okay. I got it. But she was like, no, Oma, I want to stay and help you cook. So when, every, when my daughter left and went home, she stayed with me to help me get some things done. And I really appreciated it. It was so much fun. And while we were cooking and doing things like that, she made a little YouTube video. So no, she does not have a YouTube channel. But she thought it was really funny to make a YouTube video explaining the process of, of, of me and her making sweet potato pies. And she had literally had her little camera out there and she's talking about the ingredient ingredients to the pies. I thought it was so cute. And we just had so much fun. And then it was great after everything was done to watch her face. And she told everybody what she cooked for dinner. It was so cute. So on Tuesday, I have a spin class on today. I want to wash clothes. And I also have... Let's see. I have my volunteer work. Also on Tuesday. So I just want to put this little header, little header box right here. And I want to put a quarter box down to write in that I have volunteer work on Tuesday. And then I think I want to put a piece of glitter washi down here at the bottom. Just to make it look really nice and festive. I like that. Okay. So on Wednesday, Wednesday, I want to put down my today. I might want to put down my goals today. Let's try a goals today sticker. So on Wednesday, we know one of our goals is to definitely get the trash can out because we have trash day and I have so much trash right now that's in my garage from the holiday. Let's see if I have a trash can. We do. I think I want to This down right here. And then we'll put the trash can right here. And I just want to accent that with a bow from the tassel planner. It's cute. I like the way that looks. Can you see the little bows? Can you see how the accents? I don't know if you can see it glittering, but this looks so pretty. Okay, so we have trash day on Wednesday, and then another goal we have on this day is my body pump class. So I definitely want to put down body pump on Wednesday. And then after my body pump class, I would love to get a run in. Then I want to put down my to do's. So has anyone went out and took advantage of the 
Let's see if I can do this. Has anybody gone out and taken advantage of the Black Friday sales? It was some really good deals out there. Um, one of the things that I definitely wanted was a sprocket. So I'm looking forward to using that. Okay, so on Thursday, Thursday is going to be a pretty quiet day for me. So today, my goal today is to run on Thursday. I'm trying to get into the gym and trying to increase my cardio more. I was bending a lot more, but now I want to start running a little more. So one of my goals is to definitely get my spin in. I'm sorry, to get my run in. And then I have a meeting that I need to go to. Let's see, I thought I saw a a sheet in here with meeting on it. Maybe I did not. Okay, I have a meeting. And then I want to do my to-dos. So I, um, I'm thinking about doing a video on how to white space plan. The type of planning that I do, majority of it is called no white space planning because you have very little white space left over, if any at all. Let me know if you are interested in the comments below on me doing a video on how to no white space plan. I just think about, I was thinking about um, a couple of my friends have come to me and they said, Cheryl, you know, I love the planning that you're doing, but I don't even know where to start. And I think a lot of times the stickers um, may seem a little intimidating, but they're really not. It's the reason that I put down every sticker. So if you're interested in a type of um, video leave me a comment down below and i would definitely do a video on how to know white space plan so on friday friday i have a core workout you yeah, know i just finished my cleanse a couple of weeks before and i probably gained everything back from thanksgiving so i'm gonna try to work it out things to do so on Friday I think I'm gonna use a full checkbox on Friday because Friday is gonna be one of those days okay uh, is this gonna be just kind of crooked I think see if I can lay her down a little bit A little bit better. Okay. And then you want to go. For today's. And I know I have another meeting. on Friday so I want to lay down this remember box and put my meeting time in there definitely don't want to miss it then I just want to put a quarter box down
because I have a couple of emails that I need to send out. And I want to make sure I put that in here. And I just want to end it with some decorative washi. That's cute. I like that. Okay, so on Saturday, I have to work on Saturday. And on Sunday, I have to work on Sunday. Okay. So now I want to lay down my washi strips. But before doing that, I want to tombow this out. So I'm going to tombow out this part down here and the date covers and lay down the washi strips. I'm going to speed this up. So I want to go ahead and um, lay down the Simply Gilded Washi. I thought this is really cute and the colors complement the colors that's in the kit. So this is my first time using this one, so I need to open it up all together. Okay, I like the way this looks. Okay, so now we just want to lay down our date covers. So, here we go. I'm loving the way this kit is turning out. If you've stuck with me so far, and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up so that I will know that you like the video and that you like this kit. Okay, now we just want to go in and put down our date dots. I'm going to be using these date dots from Sticker Bloom. And I love using printable kits. And to glam them up a little bit, I like using foil, like the foil date dots or little icons with the little bows or little hearts on them. I like things like that. Thank you. 
This in this kit just looks so Christmassy with the colors. I love them. Okay. And I want to glam it up just a little bit more. So I think I want to use these dot headers to go over the glitter washi on the top just to make the kit just a little bit more festive. You can never have too much foil. And these date dots are from the Sticky Committee. I will make sure I leave all these shops down below. So you can go visit and check them all out. down wrong I think I did let's see what I come up without me tearing stuff up I was on there so I put it down a little crooked but it's gonna have to work so I have to tear up the sticker to get it up so it's gonna work out okay I just be a little extra careful with this one to make sure I lay it down just right there we go. Isn't this pretty? Can you see how it just glistens? And now we're just going to put this back in our planner. Again, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. And make sure you leave me a comment down below and let me know if you're interested in seeing a no white space how to plan with me. Okay. That's all for today. I hope you have a wonderful week on purpose. We'll plan with you later. Bye-bye, Lux Babe.